you do what you want to do. You want to do after I don't trust myself. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. Just start conking on the chair. You're wearing all green. It's only right. But I'm, I'm a walking zoo. Alright. Clap. Fair enough. <laughs> Clap for us quickly. Let's go. Yeah, uh, white man, white man, sit down, no seats on the bus. Slow down, slow down, hit a burn, oh shit, head rush. Welcome to the plot, my name's Glory. My name's Aranma, and today we're joined with Theodore, Theodore Black. Black. Hello. We're going to be uh, talking about a couple of things, hitting you with a couple of hypothetical situations. <laughs> and you're also going to be judge. So we've got two pictures here. Yeah. I've drawn her and she's drawn me. Okay. And we want you to judge the pictures. It's going to be quite obvious yet. though. Who's the best? <laughs> I wish I Yeah, it's going to be me. He knows this already. And to give context, The Plot is a show where Arenma and I invite talented people to our living room to chat about nearly everything. So as a housewarming gift, I drew you. Are you ready? Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> so, this is Arenma. Let me see it. Wait. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Damn. And you're sticking out your tongue and then I put the tree for effects. I'm so insulted. <laughs> Let's see yours. Damn. Though. Let's see though. Look you're at my hairline, you're bro. talking oh. No, in the picture. I put more effort into your hairline than you did into mine. You're, you're about to I'm the one with the fresh trim though. Ouch. If it was a dead trim, you would have drawn my hairline nah. like that. You would have. Nah, nah. Alright, let's see how you drew my you're hairline then. This is glory. Come you on. see the silence is deafening. No, 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 no. You didn't make no. the, silence, the silence, they're just stunned at the bag I got into to draw this picture. I got into a big bag. What is, you know. what is that Jesus. say? Jesus bag, bro. What does that say over there? So that's her name. Yeah. And her mantra is Jesus is my high. Okay. Because I'm a God fearing child, but I do not say that. I don't I don't say Jesus is my high though. Look at my teeth. <laughs> No, this is a good drawing. This is a good drawing. Right, look, 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 look. This is a good drawing. It's better than your drawing. I'm probably going to have to choose this one still. So. I told you. I told you. The that gradient. One's, that one's hard, see my isn't vision, it? That bro. one's hard. It looks like, it looks like some abstract Don't see shit. my vision, bro. <laughs> this is, this is, look. Look at him, look at him and then look at both of them. You got the smile lines, right? That's what you got. Because I always get smile lines and you drew that in. So the detail the, for that, I give you that. Hoops as well. But I won. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was from Argos. Really? Yeah. Was it those plastic ones or a proper like? It was, if it's from Argos, it was is? never a proper thing. It was like ah! wooden metal in it, but it just wasn't a great, it wasn't a great skateboard. No, but with skateboarding, yeah, I think yeah. it's a really fun activity, but I'm scared to fall like that. Oh, is your favorite fruit tangerines? Um, Cause that's my favorite song of yours and subculture, of course. Oh, uh, thank you. Nah, I mean, my favorite fruit is probably like mangoes. I really like mangoes, but tangerines was like a fruit that this girl that I was into used to eat a lot. It's always this, it always starts out like salads? that. What? A tangerine salad? Yeah, What's would that? you like prepare that for her? Nah, man. A tanger isn't that just a fruit salad? Nah, it's just tangerines peeled up and put together in a bowl, really? That's just <laughs> tangerine salad. Tangerine yeah, salad. I've never heard of a tangerine salad before. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could be a thing, innit? Like, it could be a thing. Yeah, it could be a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, every girl you've spoken to, have you, like, placed them with a fruit? Um, nah, not really. Just her, because, like, she just always had tangerines on her, innit? So. so. Wait, she had tangerines in her tote bag all the time? Yeah, yeah basically. Or was she keeping them, like, by the bedside table? Just on deck, by the it? TV? I can't even deck. laugh. That saves money, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, it's healthy as well, so it's good. Uh, yeah. How did the video come about? Uh, tangerines. Yeah. That was interesting, actually. So, uh, I have a friend of mine who lives in, he lives in like a guardianship in Surakis. And basically... A what? Surakis. A guardianship. So, mm -hmm. essentially what it is, it's like, um, it's like abandoned properties. And then people can live in it for like, fair cheap. And you can rent it out. So, he pays like 300 pounds for like a huge room. 
it's essentially like a it used to be like a, a boys club isn't it so okay yeah, yeah. Okay. and i didn't have a space to shoot it and we had like zero budget and my girlfriend now like she shot the video and oh big up yeah yeah she did bits and yeah we just made it happen in it like just the power of uh diy and you know so should we speaking of diy what do you make of the of the setup it's nice man i think it's sick yeah i haven't seen anything like this like it's, it's tight i really like it it's cozy that yard's wavy that's yeah. why that is why it's yeah, cozy yeah it's, it's proper cozy, cozy. <laughs> yeah, it's do you cozy. share do you live by yourself or uh so i live with my girlfriend and uh two other flatmates um in Dalston. How's that going? Are you the messy flatmate, clean, or you just mind your business? <laughs> okay, so that's a messy laugh. Yeah, we got, messy. I'm not messy. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I'm not messy. Yeah, right yeah, I'm not yeah, messy yeah. person. I'm not <laughs> messy person. Right I just now. like, I like to take my time after eating a meal before I clean up my shit. Do you know what I mean? So, How long are we talking? An hour or two morning, days? Okay, do, you really, do you really soak it though first? Or do you soak just leave it. it there and let it cake? <laughs> Because some people be doing that. You no. come back the oil is I'm going to get triggered. Like, uh, Are you at it, bro? Wait, <laughs> do I'm, you I'm soak curious. your lunch boxes after you eat stew? Uh, I mean, you have to, isn't it? Okay. Okay, okay, water, that's like, enough for me. Okay. Boil enough. the water in the kettle. Because I don't know if you guys eat, like, have you ever had palm oil? Yeah. I, I refrain from Messy. palm, palm yeah, oil. Yeah. You don't want to get palm oil on it's anything, bro. It's peak. Because it's not coming out, basically. Like, and it just stays there. It stays like, there, it, bro. It really stays there. Yeah. The colour of the p- container <laughs> My mum used to, like, my mum used to keep the palm oil in the, like, or, like, she used to keep stewing ice cream boxes. They ever done that to you, right? Come on, bro. Listen. It's taking you back. It'll be, so the, it'll be, it'll be the cool back. ice cream. You're yeah, like, yeah? yeah, yeah this yeah, is going to yeah. settle down it'll, it'll after dinner. Day, you open it up, Hot it's days. stew. Do you, fam, like, in the You're freezer? Right, Bill prep in ice cream tubs. <laughs> yeah, man. They're the original OG, OGs of meal prep, innit? Yeah, facts. yeah they, was, they were saving money, though. Facts. Because those facts. things will last. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, talk about your girlfriend, and I'm like, the girl that you're referring to in Tangerines, yeah. Mm. And um, previously, not too long ago on Twitter, people were saying that sometimes the talking stage when you just meet with someone is sometimes the best. Do you mm. agree? Um, I would say, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ecstasy. Like, when you first start talking to someone, it's like, it's quite thrilling, isn't it? But I mean, that's just lust, isn't it? That's just temporary. It's not really like a permanent thing, you know. I think what I've learned is that, like, especially since I moved in with my girlfriend, is that like, I don't know. It's it's more than that, you know. It's more of like a it's more of mutual understanding and that. Excuse me, true word. Let's Apparently, see. when you sneeze, when someone's talking, they're talking the truth. Facts. No, yeah. it's facts, though. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, all that shit's like, day. it's exciting, but, uh, it's, I mean, yeah, it's only temporary pleasure. I'd rather you used to, used to do, you used to be a part time. Oh, uh, where'd you find that? We bro? know. <laughs> we Nardua, know. Bro. I'm on my Nardua flex, <laughs> we found bro. you. Bro, yeah, Nardua flex, bro. Talk to us, That's bro. What's mad. going on? Nah, you know what? Yeah, that was a joke, innit? Like, it was just something I used to say for fun. It was more of a metaphor, like, part time nudist, like, part time exposure, like, emotionally exposed, innit? Like, oh, that's damn. what that means. Um, I thought there was some drawings on there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro, nah, 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 I'm not doing any of this thing out here, fam. That's mad. How much would someone have to pay you for you to do that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think I would, still. Like, I'm too shy for that. What about your feet? My feet, that's ah, calm. I don't mind toes out of sight. Would you open only fans for your feet? Oh, I'm mad. Um, <laughs> these questions are jokes. <laughs> Income streams, you know? No, because it's, it's not all your face. Right? Listen, so. yeah, only fans is making people go up right now. So, like, if I was in a situation where <laughs> it was peak, yeah, fuck it, bro, why not? Uh, but I would prefer not to. Mm. You know what I mean? so, yeah. Mad. Feet, no, no. I think boys have nice feet compared to girls. Nah, the ratio. Nah, you don't have more no. space to put nail varnish on there. The surface area, should I say? But who's put which? How many guys you know putting nail varnish on their toes? I know no. a guy actually. I have pre toes. This guy called Butler. He's like a does these amazing drawings. Like he used to paint his toenails. That was pretty cool. Yeah, but they're still not. Don't people are few and far between, nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was just gonna walk down the road, see some guy in sliders orange nails yeah yeah that's yeah, mad like you it. talk about how like as a musician yeah. it's vulnerable yeah making yeah. music mm, yeah. um you especially if you're honest with it and i believe you're honest with your work especially in your song subculture yeah 
Um, and one theme you talk about in the song, you know, the whole idea, the relationship between black people, stop and search, and the police. Mm, mm. In terms of the Black Lives Matter movement, do you think the UK are doing enough? Do you mean the UK as in the black community in the UK or the UK as a whole? The UK as a whole. That's the thing with British people, isn't it? Like, British people are very much reserved in terms of their opinions, which is shit, isn't it? Because, yeah. I mean, just let people know what you're thinking. Just be, like, even if it's fucked up or whatever, just be honest, you know, like, but British people tend to always just hide, they tend to hide behind, like, this, like, false mask and it's just bare fake. Like, you go to America, it's like, obviously it's messed up, but people are honest, like, Trump is a waste man, but like he's open with his opinions and he lets you know that he's a like he's a fucker, doesn't it? So it's like cool, we know you're a fucker and we know how to deal with you. Whereas in the UK it's like you never really know how to deal with anything because nobody's saying anything. It's all just hush hush, isn't it? And it's kinda yeah. difficult to deal with, you know. Okay, say you're mayor of London for a day, yeah. for example. Yeah. What are five things you change? Oh man, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm getting a drink. They for could, nah, they, nah, they don't have to be like deep. They could, it could be like, oh, everyone has to wear orange at 12 p.m. <laughs> like, it could be something like something completely wrong. Um, can I make it three Bro, things? Diesel. Um, I don't know. I'd probably like do free transport. Maybe like that's a shout to be fair. once or twice a week or something. Wait, so what? People can get about. So not not every day. Nah, man. Why not every day? I don't know. Transport is crazy. Yeah, transport's far. Or maybe make transport a bit cheaper. Uh, way cheaper, not a bit. Um, I don't know. I feel like I would like to provide more youth facilities, I guess, because I feel like young people don't really have a lot to do these days. That's why, like, there's just bare fuckeries happening. Like, if there was more stuff for young people to do, it would be better. Like, for me, I guess I was fortunate enough to find an activity that I really appreciated, like, outside of music which is like skateboarding and i've been skating since i was really young and that How young? kept me like maybe six years now and like that's keep you that's started skateboarding at age six nah nah oh, you've been skateboarding for six years i've been skateboarding for six years okay, okay. yeah yeah okay, yeah you. but that's definitely like kept me out of trouble i mean you still get into trouble and shit <laughs> with your friends but it's not as deep as like sh shit that i would say is happening like on on the roads or whatever so I, I do these kind of things help you come to the, I guess, conclusion that London is burning in a way? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what you alluded to said, in Yeah, <laughs> you said London's burning and no one notices it. Like, what it do you is, mean by bro. that? It is, it's <clears> just <throat> like, things are slowly falling apart, like, and nobody's seeming to clock. You know, like, when you put a goldfish or, like, what, what's the animal again? I don't even remember. I think it's if you put a goldfish in, like, hot water or a crab or whatever, they don't clock that they're burning. It's crab. It's crab. Yeah. yeah. They don't clock that they're burning until like they've actually been cooked, isn't it? And it's <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm, it's sorry. Like, when he just clocked, he's like, <laughs> 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 just in the pot, like raw. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it is kind of peak, isn't it? It's long the way that things are going on, but I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, no, but is it though? Because we love to say it is what it is, we move, but yeah. are we really mechanism. moving, that right? It is a coping mechanism, really. It is a coping mechanism, yeah, it is. Yeah. Have you ever had a bad injury? That was the worst injury you've had. Me? Yeah. My ankle popped out, the right ankle, till this out. day when I'm like wearing slippers, you can see that one ankle is out than the other. Oh, yeah, out, I right? stacked in the school corridor. Oh, that's deep. Man. Yeah, and all the olders were there and they were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Did people take pictures? No, nah, no, nah, it was before everyone okay, was like okay, snapping okay, everything. Okay, okay. Thank God. What about you? I've split my head open twice. Yeah, I've split my head open. You see this line here? How? That's, that's the second one. And then there's one behind my head, but I've outgrown it. Now, so. I'm sorry, how did that happen? Oh, so the first one, <laughs> the first time was actually my fault. So my brother and I used to have a bunk bed. <laughs> and so, you know, WWE SummerSlam settings, oh, you, know, you yeah, jump off trust. the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've landed on the bottom bunk and it's literally bounced me onto a floor of tiles. So oh. I've just <laughs> split my head open. He taped my head though, until my mum came and was lit. What? Yeah, sell the tape, you just hold it. And then that can, that can hold you for a little bit, but obviously you have to go to the hospital. That's fair, Eventually. And then the second one, 
you know, like, you know, window bars. Mm-hmm. So people are playing football at school and they just, someone's whacked the ball against the window. The bars have just landed right on my head. I'm standing below the window. <laughs> right, that's deep. <laughs> That's so unfortunate, bro. That's like some. She's fun laughing at my pain. No, how, how does it happen twice, though? <laughs> what are the odds? What are the actual odds? It'd be like that. A couple of screws loose, but we move. <laughs> Legit. That was fucking cringe. Wow. Literally. Random question, yeah. Mm. Let's say you're reading a book. Mm. Yeah, me and the Red Rover try to crack this. Mm. Let's say you're reading a book and you realise the book is actually the story of your life till the end yeah. you're on like chapter 2 page 78 yeah. would you continue right that's a deep question I don't know man I don't think I'd want to I wouldn't want to see how my life would end like that's a bit that's a bit long do you know what I mean it's just knowing like nah fuck that mm-hmm. no but to be fair Gloria you made a good point in the sense that what if you read it to the end and then you know what's going to happen but then you try and like change it like I guess upset upset the course of your own life but then what if you make it worse that's a possibility I don't think we went that far do we you like, you've <laughs> seen that you've seen, <laughs> that, bro, you've seen you've seen that so raven innit yeah like, anytime she tries to change something it always goes wrong oh like, yeah because she sees it the wrong way she sees it the wrong way and she's like oh that's what that meant so I'm like just leave it innit <laughs> like long I so you reach for that so raven you went into the archives yeah man <laughs> what were you watching like growing up uh and just what was around you like childhood Theodore Black well James yeah yeah <laughs> Who's that guy? Um, I don't know, man. I'd say a lot of video games. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, yeah, Spyro the Dragon. And then TV-wise, I was watching a lot of like Ed, Ed and Eddie. A lot of uh, ooh, ooh, Powerpuff Girls. Like the cartoon that Powerpuff was classic. Girls, Kids Next yeah. Door. Kids oh Next my door, gosh, Kids oh, Next Door. Yeah, 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 literally. Did you watch Hey Arnold? I loved Hey Arnold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gerald was my team. Are you over it? Like, do you no longer watch it? It's one of them ones where, like, if I've, like, had a zoo and I have nothing else to do, and I'm like, you know what, let me go into the archives, I'll probably put it on. Do you want a conspiracy theory about it that blew my mind till oh, now? Oh, yeah. There you go. So, you see how his parents, yeah, he's always asking his grandparents who he lives with, mm. where are my parents, and they're just always kind of dodging the thing. Mm. Yeah. So, there's a conspiracy theory that his grandparents are actually his parents and because of that he has a disability and that's why his head is like Mazine. <laughs> Mazine. That's jokes. No but <laughs> I think it's true. But they no? Were, all of the characters have weird head shape. No, not all of them. Actually, it's true. Legit, them in are, his classroom, regular, though. it's him. It's him, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah. ratings to him though. <laughs> I mean, he held it down with the, with the odd, oblong head shape. And... <laughs> where do you want people to be or what mood do you want people to be in when they listen to your music um it's quite relaxing yeah. like a lot of it's like i call it like hotel lobby music oh it's brother i used to say that you know one. yeah like yeah, you walk yeah, into yeah. like a nice hotel yeah just yeah. do it all black and speak <laughs> that's wavy yeah the concierge or some shit um, I mean, I don't know, bro. I, I guess I would say that I do have quite like a relaxed demeanor about me. Um, so if you're just chilling with your friends at home, I guess my music would be like perfect for that. Have so, you always been this way? Uh, I, <laughs> I remember, I remember you mentioning that like, you know, prior to joining Exterior, you weren't, you were quite shy. Yeah. And I've, then through then you've developed since. So. It's, yeah, man, I just feel like Music has been a good journey for me because it's just allowed me to be more comfortable with myself. When I was growing up, I used to always, like, want to, I guess, essentially... It's just like, when you're a teenager, all you want to do is fit in with your friends, it? And, like, okay. I guess I look back on all that shit now and I'm like, yo, that's corny. Like, you don't actually need to do that. Like, I see youngers now doing the same thing and I'm like, I see what you're doing, but it's better to just be yourself because... The people that you meet in secondary school, like, they know you for that period of time, but then once you leave and shit, like, you're gonna become a whole different person, hopefully. Mm. And when you do, you're gonna meet new people 
who will appreciate you for being you in it and i guess that's what happened to me and now like it's nice isn't it like i can i can talk to people a lot easier and stuff which is cool and yeah as you give profound answers you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> proper i told you when we came we was gonna give profound answers we knew you know? it we knew it we prepared we ourselves pee -E. <laughs> good ready to go yeah but it's lit though have you always when did you realize that you maybe had a different perspective to the people you grew up around um I guess it just comes from like my there we experience go. Another growing one. <laughs> <laughs> just my experience growing up like um I was raised in like a Sierra Leonean household um uh, my mum's Muslim so I guess I went to like she'd send me to the mosque when I was younger so I've had like just loads of different like influences growing up that have been outside of the norm you know which is cool and then like like what just like being around people who aren't from like necessarily this society like I've, just my family and stuff i would say like majority of my outlook on life is down to my upbringing like big ups my mom like you like, spend time in Sierra Leone at all i've never been back but what? nah i've been to gambia though how's I gambia I was a baby, so I don't remember. But Damn. I've been nah. It's a trip that it's a trip that's pending. I've been talking to my sister about it. Like it's gonna happen. You've been practicing your French. Uh, so in Sierra Leone, we don't speak French. We well, well, baby, we speak French. We speak Creole, isn't it? Yeah. Which is like essentially broken English. Um, but they do. They have like uh, like Portuguese Creole and like French Creole as well. It's like loads of languages. Like Sierra Leone is so densely populated with different tribes and different like you know people. So there's like, I would say like maybe 20 or like 30 different tribes in that one concentrated space. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. I was curious. Yeah. I asked because obviously your upcoming EP is titled Garçon, mm. which is French for boy. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you actually speak any French or are you nah. just, are you just, you just put Garçon there because it sounds better than boy? Uh, I, <laughs> like, I'm I really going to look like at an album cover that says Garçon <laughs> before I look at when it says boy. Right. Right. Boy would be so. cool too. But I guess like, Garçon kind of links up with my old EP, Black Boy Blues. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Just Can you I'm cook food there. from Sierra Leone? I can't, you know. What's going on? You know what? It's bare funny because, like, my girlfriend keeps telling me, like, yo, you should learn how to cook Sierra Leonean dishes. And I'm like, nah, man, I can't do that because I feel like I'd violate the thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you but with learning, right? you've got to burn something first. Yeah, 100%, but it's just... I just leave it to my mum in it because she knows. Oh, come she on, knows, you're looking at yards. In that yard, mum's not always going to be there. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But okay, I mean, besides Sierra Leonean food, what can you chef up that? You know what? This is my best dish. Come, come down with Theodore. Uh, what are we making? Right? Listen, I've got the vision. Companies, Companies hit him up. <laughs> <Let 'em know. laughs> He's chefing up for you. Expect some, like, some jerk chicken, some sweet potato. Okay. Jerk chicken? Yeah. And courgettes? Yeah, jerk chicken's like one of the first proper dishes that I learned to make. Like, it's very straightforward. How did you come up? Like, who taught you that? Uh, my mum. Wow. Yeah. Damn, she taught you Jamaican food before right? Sierra Leonean? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What does Black Boy Blues consist of, if you were to give a definition? Black Boy Blues is just an emotional state, and it's just constantly blue. And blue is the essentially colour, I would say, depression, in a way, like, just, yeah, yeah, that's what Black Blues is about, it's like, the whole project, like, I wrote when I was, like, between 18 and 19, and just, during that period of time, just experiencing mad shit, mm. mad emotion, like, growing up in a society like this is a bit mad, like, because, I guess, I, like where I grew up was essentially very like it was quite a white neighborhood mm. you know like I grew up in Charlton so like we were the only black family on my street and then going from there to like you know it's like you discover you're black in it it's like mm. when you're a youth yeah it's like nobody really well pro people probably do treat you differently in it but you don't really clock it like yeah when I look back at some of my schooling experiences I'm like bro that was blatant racism but like don't clock it when you're a youth, innit? And then, I guess you hit 18 
and then shit stops being free and like you're all of a sudden an adult and oh. it's like it's like you wake up black mm. and it's like what the fuck it's crazy it's bad man and everything is so subtle about it subtle here as well yeah. but there are there are some societies where that wouldn't be the case like uh like Acorn City you know Acorn <laughs> <laughs> City Acorn yeah, City facts, are we we gone <laughs> are we, I'm not <laughs> sure yet well, could you if there was like listen we'll give you all expense paid trip to go be one of the first hundred people to go to Acorn City would you go probably not man why um I guess I just love being in the chaos of the city. And like, as much as I hear, I also love it a lot because without all of these experiences, I wouldn't be able to make all the music that I make and do all the things that I do, you know? And also, I don't think, like, just leaving and bailing out is the right idea. Like, I'm essentially from here. Yeah. Here. So it's like... No, but you can still, like, once you find out where you're really from, you can still go back, I guess. Yeah, I mean, obviously, so. you know, but I would say for this period of my life right now, like, this is kind of just where I need to be, you know, until shit gets patterned and then I can dip out. Until the big bag comes in. Yeah. <laughs> but let me, let me switch up the setting, though. Yeah. Let me switch up the setting. Um, you live in L.A. now. You know, dropped a couple albums. Yeah. The big bag has walked through the door. Yeah. So you're living cozy. Okay. You're in LA, sun's out, you cop a Cadillac, drop top, <laughs> and you can do that bouncy thing in the yeah. car. <laughs> Are you still playing Roy Ayers? No, nah, I'm gonna probably be playing like Gin and Juice by Snoop Dogg. Oh, See, that's so awkward. I thought you meant the that other Gin and Juice. Nah, Which, I'm gonna have to be <laughs> bare blade. Other Gin and Juice? Down and down and down. Actually, it does work. It does so work. Switching your song. You're in a Cadillac and it's got like the hydraulics, fam. What else are you going to be playing? I ain't going to be playing no like. You could play Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre G thing. True, 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 true. Cool and the gang, Summer Madness. Right. Well, maybe you could make a play. Look what you slipped. You slipped yeah? the suggestion in Cadillac playlist. Glory's Cheeky. Cadillac playlist. <laughs> Cheeky. What else will go in the Cad- Cadillac playlist though? Let's let's stay here for a little bit. Um, maybe some brand fires. Yeah. Uh, Sorry? Yeah. In a Cadillac? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. In that I mean, home, if you like in it, the candles. It'd have to be like proper slow motion. You have to slow mo the video. Because it's not, it's not the same, like the bounce is quick. Yeah. But fires is, mm. I don't know mate. What about some pasta, Partially front line in the Cadillac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh! Okay, 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 okay. I see the vision now. Yeah, 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 you switched yeah, yeah. it up. No Brent Fires, no Roy Ayers. Or I'm past the Luna. I'm doing that. You yeah. moved it up. When I go to LA, I'm doing that. What's your opinion on ASMR? I like ASMR. What kind of ASMR are we talking about? I don't know. The, I, didn't, I don't know the different types in it, but I just like it in general. Really. There's like crisps, cucumbers, watermelon, and then feet. <laughs> Stomping on stuff, oh, right. and then there's like. I like the whispering one. The whispering one. Yeah. ASMR whispering your song lyrics. How about that? Nah, because then people can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> or ASMR eating Kinder Whites. Kinder what? Kinder White. Kinder Bueno with the white one. Your favorite chocolate, isn't it? Kinder Whites. Yeah. Oh no, you're a new person. You've changed your favorite chocolate. No, nah, I'm just. Oh, okay. Just bad mad, you know that, isn't it? Like, yeah, hey, that is my now favorite. Now do I, bro? Chocolate. He told me. <laughs> yeah. We're we got, we got enough. What did you say on the show? You're Theodore Black. <laughs> <laughs> like, where the guests would get like best surprise that he do like what he do. Mm. That's what he'd say. Not in that voice. Like I butchered it, but the effort was there. You know? Why Theodore? How did we get from James to Theodore? Um, so when I first started making music, I went through like maybe two names. The first one was Ace Neruda, mm. and I dropped that because it sounded too much like Bishop Neru. And then, is he on your playlist? I do fuck with Bishop Neru. Well, I used to. I fucked with him heavy. Like, Who is? Bishop Neru. He's from New York. He's amazing. Yeah. Rap. What are you saying? Rap. Yeah. Okay, rap. Yeah. Bishop He's Neru. N I R U. N E H R. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Neru. Mhm. Alright. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then I changed it to Black Sam. And then I was with my homie one day and I was like, yo, I'm going to start dropping music on SoundCloud. And he was like, oh, okay, you got a name? I was like, yeah, Black Sam. And then he was like, 
that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, like, he's a real one. He's a real one. Because some people get you. I spent like an hour arguing with him. I was like, what do you mean, <laughs> bruv? Like, it's a hard name. Da, da, da. He was like, do you have something else? And I was like, I mean, I've got Theodore Black. And he was like, that's cool. And I was like, all right. And I said, that's it. cool. <laughs> so we didn't even win the argument. He was just like, you know what? We'll just leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is a hard like, name, though. It's it is a hard name. name. You look yeah. like a Theodore. Thank you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it was just it just spawned me when you were like, Yeah, my name is James. It reminded me of like that um SpongeBob scene where the red crab is just like the room spinning and shit. <laughs> you seen that meme? <laughs> yeah. Bro, it shattered my brain, bro. I was like, his name is James? Another conspiracy <laughs> theory. Here we go. Mr. Crab is a cannibal. Oh, I've heard about that. That's tight, it's true, man, isn't it? He's the he only ain't crab never, in bikini he never eats the burgers. But everyone else is and there are hardly any other crabs. Yeah, yeah, that's so tight, man. Yeah, okay. I'd, <laughs> no, nah, it's bro, it's tap if you think about it's it. Tap. Wait, hold on. You're you cool won't. about cannibalism. No, you ain't drawing me out like that. We're not, <laughs> we're not doing that here. We're not doing, we are not doing What's your opinion on the UK music scene right now? Oh, I'm in love with it, man. It's booming. It's all of it? Not all of it. Mm. But there are certain parts of it that I really appreciate. Like, for example, like artists that I've really been like fucking with right now, Pasalu. Um, Ojirime, who else? A couple of my friends as well, like Osquello, uh, Brian Nasty, who else? There's so many people, bro. I really, yeah, no, nah, I just, I, think I like it, man. There's too many artists to name in it, but like, I do appreciate the scene a lot. Like, I think what's been cool is that obviously now we've, like, the UK has stopped looking at the US for influence. True. Have they? Completely? Not completely. Mm -hmm. but it's never going to completely go away. It's less. So yeah. it's never gonna than before, go. isn't it? Like, now it's more of like we're looking into our own culture yeah. for influence, which is why now the Americans are like, whoa, like, London's popping. Mm. Da, da, da. So it's, yeah, it's cool. I think we've like, just kind of started finding our own identity and stuff. And that's, that's nice. That's what about nice. the women in the UK music scene? What about them? Who, who are you listening to? Um, let's see. I'm listening to a lot of Ejirime, Cleo Soul. Oh, uh, oh that was good. That album was the perfect album, album to listen good. to during lockdown. What? <laughs> How did the song with Osquella come about? Which one? Boom, the most recent one. Um, just linked up. I sent him a beat. It was like, cool. Oh, it was casual. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how most of your collaborations happen? Or are there some way you've gone a bit out of your way to get it? Nah, I haven't really gone out of my way. Like, I like, I tend to usually like working with my friends and it just because, like, we've kind of grown together. I like to hear what they write about on my own songs because then it's like you kind of share that experience together. You know, like you're sharing, creating something, which is which is nice. It's always nice to do that with friends. Like, I don't mind working with like obviously people I don't know, but that's more of like we'll see what will happen. Mm. You know, but when I work with my friends, it's like. I want to sit down and I want to make something with you that's meaningful and like positive and empowering. Yeah. Do you have any? Do you not have any dream collabs then? Dream collaborations? Oh yes. Um, I'd love to work with Sango. I'd love to work with like Kate Trinada. Oof. Oh. That'd be amazing. I'd love to work with like Daniel Caesar as well. That would be sick. Really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I feel like you and Daniel Caesar will make one of the slowest songs yeah. Yeah. I've heard in yeah, a yeah, long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh, I you two can make a lullaby. Yeah, I yeah, 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 for facts, man. I would also Sponsor, love to work on, with West Side Gun. West Side Gun's hard. Bro, Griselda are too Griselda, cold, bro. bro. Hey, Griselda are the greatest. You already turned that he's plotted the kind of song they're going to make. Him. Griselda's, <laughs> Griselda's too cold. Griselda too is that, greasy, is that old school? Is that old school rap? But like, it's just drenched in sauce. Yeah, yeah, literally. I can't so, even explain it. Nah, man. it's just go too far the flow. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. haven't, go check out Griselda, man. Yeah, man. tough. West Side Gun's got such a like iconic voice as well. Like it's just you hear him and you're like, I know who this is straight away, and that's always a good thing. So. What are your DM requests like? What's the vibe in there? DM requests? What do you yeah. mean? He's out the like, game. No, not see you, right? 
That's the true. DMs are not just for moving to people. Oh, it's course, not everyday course. man just, and I just, gal. I just assume yeah? that's what you're talking about. No. I, just, I feel the no. tag right now. I no. The tag. Nah. He clearly said he has a girlfriend. Why would I ask that? <laughs> I, just wanted, I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> is your studio etiquette honest? What does that mean? So like when you go studio with your friends and let's, mm. they, let's say they're spitting bars on your beat mm. and the bars ain't it. Mm. Are you going to tell them, hello, yeah, hi, yeah, yeah, we yeah. need to fix that? 100%. That's, that's something I've had to like learn how to do. Like Before, mm. I would let it slide in it. But now it's like, if it's not up to scratch, you just got to tell someone. Mm. And it's not even coming from a place of disrespect. It's just honesty in it. Like, I'm looking out for you as well, because you're not trying to come off on this thing, <laughs> on a dead thing. So, mm. true. Pattern up. Do you think the UK music scene lacks um, that ability to take feedback? Um, I don't know. I don't think you can generalise it. I would say, like, maybe certain individuals aren't really good at taking feedback. Like, they might see it as you trying to offend them, mm. maybe, which isn't the case. Like, I think I think it's a nice thing when someone criticises your music. Yeah. Because most of the time when you're with your friends, they'll be like, oh, this is hard. This is sick. <laughs> da -da -da -da, this is wavy. And it's like... You're gassed in it. <laughs> and then, like, when you start talking to people in industry and they're like, this needs a touch up, this needs a bit of work, you're like, thank you. Like, that's all I need to hear. Like, I need to know what I can work on so I can develop my shit. It's helpful. Like, mm. criticism is helpful. Like, constructive criticism, not just like... Yeah, I was going to mention the same thing because sometimes people just give you the negative but don't actually give you maybe a suggestion. I hate that shit. Yeah, they give as you... As to where yeah. you could what it's you could do to yeah, get yeah, to yeah. they level. don't give you a reason why they're just like yeah like poo food. sandwich yeah exactly. the nice spread and then the criticism and then compliment to end it off if you meet someone that's never listened to any of your songs mm. where should they start if you had to just give them one song Ooh. Mm. obviously you can't be summed up in one you can't be summed up in one song but if you had to give them one song what would it be um I'd probably just start them off with my current release, to be honest, probably just Subculture. Because I guess as an artist, you don't really like backtracking like that, you know? So I'll just be like, this is where I'm at. This is where you should start. And if you want to look back, then that's up to you. Like, mm. is, the, is the EP very similar to Subculture or are there like brighter nah. sounds on nah, the nah, EP? Nah, nah, nah. Like the EP is very, very, like it's so varied in terms of sound. Like it's... Yeah, it's definitely out there. I don't think you can like easily put it in a box, you know? And I like to keep things that way. I don't really want someone to just be like, oh, Theodore Black just does like, he just raps or like, he just sings about the Oh, like, so you're going to be singing more in the EP or? I mean, I have a couple tracks where I'm couple singing. A couple riffs and that? Yeah, 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 100%. Oh my. Like, I've been working <laughs> on the singing stuff. It's quite fun. Like, I want to get better at it, definitely. But Do you want to, yeah. uh, would you, do you want to actually proper be able to hit high notes or maybe sit in like a kick cuddy pocket where you're singing, but you're not singing at the it's same spoken time. Spoken yeah. words singing. Mm. Yeah, them high notes are difficult to do. Like I've tried them before and it's a mm. mess. <laughs> it's broken <laughs> windows everywhere. Yeah, but it's achievable. It's just practice, isn't it? Like the voice is essentially just a muscle. So True. you just got to train it. So do you think everyone in this life can sing? I mean, if you practice, if you work it. Theodore. Let's be honest now. <laughs> You've given better political answers today. You got, you got <laughs> no, I'm not. Like, come on. Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> but that's the thing is, bro. That's the thing, though. Like, anyone can do anything. It's just, like, it all stems from, like, I guess yourself, innit? Like, if you've grown up your whole life and your parents have told you, you can't dance, mm. you can't do this and that, you're going to grow up believing it. Like, but even if you're terrible at what you do, like, there will be a point in life where you'll get decent enough where people will be like, okay, because you've grown up believing it. Like, you essentially manifest what you believe in. So, yeah. Before before we wrap up, where yeah. can the people where can the people find you at? Uh, you can find me on the internet. Uh, you can find <laughs> me on the socials at Theodore Black on Instagram. I don't have Twitter. Um, did you delete it? I did delete Twitter. It's a bit mad. Twitter's a toxic place. Man. Yeah. It's noisy, man. Yeah, it's it stinks. So noisy. Like, with Instagram, it's all about, like, intake, innit? With Instagram, like, I'm just taking in an image and a brief caption, so it's calm, you know? With Twitter, you're actually reading people's thoughts. Like, I ain't trying to do that. I ain't trying to be inside some next man's head, like, and keep that to yourself, bro. Um, 
but yeah you can also find me on i don't know youtube spotify just theodore black you know theodore without the e without the e yes and also <laughs> like there are people always like get this mixed up they think it's the odor black and it's not what <laughs> i've heard that what? from a couple people yeah the yeah. odor black mm-hmm. what do you think black smells like fuck i don't know probably like intense yeah. like intense but like i don't know just an intense smell maybe something that you can like tolerate mm. but like pretty intense but it's probably for some reason i picture tom ford as a black smell yeah yeah i know what you black mean black orchid yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. i'm trying to be positive here you're trying to you're trying to drag I negativity it would be out like today. a strong lynx smell Oh, Lynx. Nah, that's just... Nah, Lynx, Lynx Africa, though. You see though. these lows, man. Nah, Lynx, Lynx Africa's nice. Nah, it's not, bro. <laughs> it's not, I don't agree. You're on your own here, man. That's I'm just... GCSEPE, <laughs> bro. GCSEPE, Lynx Africa. I don't bro. use it. I just said <laughs> yeah. I think it may nah, smell like that. Nah, nah, it's, it's outdated. Like, people have leveled up now. Yeah, I don't use it. I just <laughs> said saying, it saying, as an it. example. <laughs> I use body mist. <laughs> I'm saying Lynx Africa is like oh man that's you what you so put tough. on when you're like 13, 14 thinking like yeah instead of taking a bath Lynx Africa yeah yeah exactly you come back from a football chain and you're about to go out like you ain't taking <laughs> a shower is, who was doing this? he's exposing himself oh, isn't he? yeah facts have sure. you got a skin routine now though real quick I accurately. do like I mean I try my best to like I exfoliate every time I take a shower and what does that consist of? Well, uh, you exfoliate every day essentially yeah That's, isn't that bad for your skin I try it depends to, what if you get doing. silicon if you get silicon exfoliate oh, it's not that bad are you uh, using you a on. rough for my skin I have like a, just a normal like like a loofah and then for my face <laughs> loofah sorry yeah. that's a funny word <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> loofah vandross yeah man <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah for my face just a silicon thing like apparently that's what Pharrell uses Theodore. Yeah. Please tell me uh. that you separate the booty flannel and the face flannel. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, yeah. Do you? Wait, what's a f- use face flannels? <laughs> Essentially, like, do you wipe your ass with the same, same shit that you wipe your face with? No, you use tissue. Nah, when you're taking a shower. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Who, who uses a face flannel in the shower oh, when you have man. a sponge? No, I can't wait for it! Who uses a face flannel? No, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Who uses a face Who uses a face flannel when you can use a sponge? Nah, man, I'm charged. I'm charged. I got results, so I don't know why you're looking at me like that. I got results, baby. Thank oh, you man. so much, Fiddle, for coming through. So good. I'm so me. happy that you know you don't follow this regime that Arenma has here. Bro, if you want to, and I'm no, so excited me, for your upcoming let EP. Let us know in the comments I'm what charged, you bro. think the smell <laughs> black is, and catch us next time. Let's give a round of applause for Fiona Black. <laughs>